Do you ever find you're trying to get a data object from the GPT using the API and there are things missing? Well, this approach should help you. This actually works with any dictionary in Python, but I find it really useful when getting stuff from GPT API because it can be a little bit unpredictable sometimes. Let's say we've got a simple dictionary here of student grades and we want to grab a particular person's grade. Well, as you know, we will do grades dictionary. We'll use square brackets and let's say we want Alice's grade. We'll print that out and let's run this program. So I'm saving that, go into the terminal. Okay, her grade is 90. Perfect, that works. But what happens if we're trying to get data and it doesn't exist? So let's say we're trying to get Charlie and obviously Charlie's not in the dictionary. So I've saved that. We run it again and there we go. There's our key error. Ugh. Right, the fix for this is instead of using the square brackets to use the get method. So we get rid of the square brackets dot and then the get method. And now let's go back to Alice. We'll try and get Alice's grade again just to make sure that works. So I'll run the program again. Mm -hmm. 90, perfect. And again, we'll try and get Charlie who doesn't exist. So get Charlie, save that. Aha, no error this time. We get the word none, which is quite easy for us to deal with. Obviously you can have error handling and you should have error handling, but sometimes I like it when there's sort of a predictable output if something happens. So none is nice, that's good, that's predictable, but there's one thing even better that we can do. And the get method can have two arguments. So if we add the second argument, this is kind of a fallback, a default. So let's say if the student doesn't exist, we just have a grade of zero. That for me is super helpful because we can keep it with the same data type. We can keep it as an integer. We can put it into our table, our database, or whatever, with no problems. So save this, run again, and there we go. Charlie doesn't exist, so it gives us a zero instead, and that's very easy for us to handle. In other words, the get method is basically an if statement without writing an if statement. So get this thing. If it doesn't exist, then use this other thing. Very, very helpful. So easy, so simple. I recommend you use it. So I hope you like the video. Thanks for watching.